Hi, welcome back to my channel. I have mentioned a couple of times on my channel that I really, really enjoy watching TV shows, TV series, and it's only been a couple of years that I've actually put more time into watching them than years prior. And I feel like I've watched more TV shows than movies, which is, compared to what I used to watch, is a really, really big difference. So I thought I could mention a couple of shows that if you've seen one and you want an inspiration for something similar or something new to watch, you could get some inspiration from here. I have 15 titles to kind of say, if you watch this, you should watch this instead, or as well. So let's get started. So let's start with one of the shows that recently came out on Netflix called Cursed. It's a show, a reimagining of the King Arthur legend, where instead of choosing Arthur as the king, it actually chose a queen. We're following our main character, Nimue. She kind of tries to save her fae friends from dying off. Yeah, this show really didn't have much story to it. It was 10 episodes long. They just kind of felt empty and really cheesy and really cliched. It had a really, really great representation, but I just feel like it really didn't do enough to amass the hype that it had before it was launched. One of the great parts was Merlin. Merlin is played by Carl Gustafsson, I think that's his name. He played Floki in The Vikings. He's a, such a fun, great character and a fun, a great actor as well. So I would watch it for that. But at the same time, I would recommend maybe skipping Cursed and actually watching The Witcher that came out last year. That is probably one of my favorite fantasy shows ever. And it's a great adaptation. Well, I haven't read the books yet, but I feel like it's a great adaptation as well. It has everything that Cursed has but better and more. Great storytelling, great plot, really beautiful acting and set designs, costumes. Same kind of feeling where you have witches and wizards, different kind of fey and characters and races of creatures. So really, really diverse cast, really diverse kind of setting as well. So I would really highly recommend that. But also, if you're wanting something like Cursed, I would actually recommend a really forgotten gem that more people should be talking about. It's the Shannara Chronicles, especially season one. Season two was a bit like wonky, but season one was absolutely incredible. The story is following our main character, who is a princess. Don't remember her name now. <laughs> really, yeah, I don't remember her name. And a boy who finds out that he's like a magician, elf, wizard, guy and a guy and they kind of basically try to save the world. It's really fun, it's really well acted and it has really really great characters as well and really great lore. I haven't read the books either but I, I just can't imagine that it's going to be a really really fun, fun ride. But the show, highly recommended. So over lockdown I watched The Umbrella Academy and I really really enjoyed it. You might know that I really didn't like the graphic novels and I would highly recommend you skipping them completely and just jumping into the show. You're not gonna miss, miss out on anything and you're actually gonna get more of the lore and the background of the characters than you get in the graphic novel, which usually doesn't happen that often. But if you want something like that, a bit of like a bit of like a family dynamic, but with superpowers and superheroes, kind of that kind of feel, I highly recommend watching Heroes. It came out a long time ago and I haven't actually watched past season one, but season one was just epic. It was so good and I can't recommend it enough. And to be honest, I'm really curious to go back and watch more of it. It has similar kind of feel where there's premonitions and all these characters have different powers and they're all trying to come together and kind of fight against like the end of the world in a way, because the chi leader is meant to save the world or something. It's really, really fun, and I don't think it aged badly at all. So it's one of those shows that if you watched The Umbrella Academy, go and watch Heroes. I would recommend starting to binge The Umbrella Academy now because season two is coming out on 31st of July, 2020, this Friday. So get yourself prepped. So you've seen the three seasons of Stranger Things. You're a little bit bored. You want something more. You can't wait for season four. Why not watch The Dark? It's like Stranger Things, but a bit more slow, a bit more mellow, and you really get to savor everything that's happening, but also it really plays with your mind. You're like, wait, what is happening? There are so many guides online that help you understand what's happening in the dark, so I recommend looking at those as well, because I watch it with my boyfriend, he's like, I have no idea who's on the screen, I don't know what's happening, and I basically like to run through it every time, and it really helps you understand it better. A, a cheaper version, but more intellectual version of Stranger Things, try the dark. Another oldie but a goodie, 
Prison Break. Who remembers that classic? I feel like the first season was just an incredible idea. A guy tattoos an escape plan on his body to help his brother out of prison and they just go on like this adventure, like shenanigans trying to escape prison and um, it's just so unique, so memorable and the first season was just so so good. I think the next seasons that follow is just a bit like a stretch, a push, a little bit of a uh, too much but the first season you just stop there. You can watch the rest but it's just like it's solid solid good season. But if you enjoy that and you're like, oh, but it's been like 20 years, <laughs> watch Blind Spot. I don't think Blind Spot gets enough love. It's a show about a girl who is also tattooed all over and she's found in a bag in Times Square one night. And these people try to figure out who she is because she has no memory of anything. She has no idea who she is, where she comes from, or what she has to do and we slowly unravel everything and all her tattoos kind of reveal like different puzzles and stuff. The first season as well was absolutely incredible. You meet some of the greatest characters and like, the team works really well. And also, if you're a fan of video games, the girl who plays the character called Patterson is actually the voice of Ellie from The Last of Us. It's so incredible. So now whenever I watch Blind Spot, it's actually still running. It's in like season five or something. Every time I hear Patterson's talk, I'm like, Ellie. <laughs> so I highly recommend watching that. So you've seen Daredevil. Have you? It's a fantastic show. So gritty, so well choreographed and filmed, so dark and grungy, but also really gives you a really good sense of the character of the Daredevil and how your disability might actually be the greatest power that you have. I absolutely adore the first season. It's so well done. Season two was a bit questionable just a bit slow. I just only recently started, caught up and started watching season three. But if you want something like that, something grungy, something dark, something a bit more, maybe a bit more lighthearted, but not in the sense that it's like, oh, it's fun and great, but it's in the sense that it's just a bit funny, try The Boys. It's an Amazon original series. It was one of my favorite shows from last year. It's really great, it's really dark, like if it's not for faint-hearted at all. It has also like a group of uh, main characters who are superheroes but with like a twist they're like if marvel superheroes were real in like our everyday life and we're following our main character huey whose girlfriend gets tragically murdered but they say that it's an accident and he basically goes on like a revenge quest it's so fun, there's so much banter, there's so much back and forth, it's the funniest thing. So yes, if you really enjoyed Daredevil, try the boys. And last, there is this great show called Lucifer, following the devil. He is a human being, or he has a human body, and he's walking amongst us, he lives in LA, he parties all day and all night, plays around, has loads of money, runs a club, and then suddenly he meets a policewoman, or this detective, and they fell, fall kind of in love. He really likes her, she doesn't really like him, and they try to... Basically they solve a bunch of mysteries and murders and stuff, and then there's a bit of like weird stuff woven through it. And the first episode of season one is the greatest cinematic episode of ever in cinema and TV history ever. It's just the best episode of any show ever. After that, it kind of falls apart. Season two was okay. Season three was really like, I don't know who wrote it. Like half of that season was complete trash. And then season four was actually like not too bad because Netflix picked it up. So yes, give it a try if you haven't. But if you want something more, something a bit similar, something a bit different, I was kind of unwilling to try it as well, but I tried it and watched iZombie. And the first three seasons were great so much fun they follow in a way a similar pattern as lucifer so you have like a case per episode and you try to solve it though so still loads of humor our main character olivia moore is such a fun girl such a fun character and you have really great cast really great supporting cast and the overarching story is interesting you know if you like your zombie things especially right now <laughs> Yes, it's a really good fun kind of way of watching it. I'm currently watching the last season, season five, and not necessarily enjoying it. I'm, I'm, I really want to just finish it and see what happens because they really put like a lot of 
themes into the last season. I don't understand why, but you know, we'll see how it goes. But yes, Lucifer and watch I Zombie. Also, I'm so excited for season five, part one of Lucifer coming on the 21st of August this year. So get yourself prepped, start watching now. So this is my little recommendations video. I love TV shows. I can watch like four or five episodes in a row, but I barely can sit through a movie these days. Maybe I just need to find better movies to watch. Please let me know in the comments if you agree with my recommendations, or if you've seen any of them, if you like any, and if you have any more recommendations for me. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and i see you in my next one. Bye!